Dutiful hair. Good luck. Okay, so I've already played a Sicilian. Um, let's play. Let's play Alakine's defense. Go knight d5. And yes, I realize I'm pronouncing Alakine's incorrectly. Al Jochen, maybe a little more close to the correct pronunciation. <laughs> When am I planning my next stream? Well, this is usually a weekly event. So um, we, we only recently started. So we're going to be going for another hour and a half plus at this point. So do stick around. But it's typically on Sundays at this time at um, 1.30 US Central. All right. Um, let's play Bishop F5 before making a decision about D5. D5 is often a move that, that you end up playing here. Not going to do it yet, though. BJ says, no blindfold game, please. One cannot follow two screens on a mobile device. Blindfold is a no-go, please. Yeah, I understand that point of view because if you're not able to pop open the game, then you're just listening to me explain like a blank board. Or if you're not able to follow it yourself, I know that's very, very difficult. So I totally get that point of view. This is an interesting move. Um... I'm going to go rook c8, maybe prepare knight a5, look to ambush. I don't know, though. I might have just made a tactical mistake. We'll see. You should do 960 as a final game. Problem is, someone would have to challenge me 960 for that to work. Yeah, so that wouldn't be feasible. Queen back to D1. Okay, that does not look right. I think C5 was the move there, and I might have had issues with the B7 pawn. Now, let's consider our options. I mean, D5 is a super standard move. Um, Knight A5, I think white's just going to play B3, and white looks relatively solid. Let's, let's play D5. I'll play the thematic move. Sure thing, Wobble Chess. Yeah, fire away. All right, knight c4. So jumping in, hitting the bishop, hitting the pawn. Trying to focus in on this square. Um, all right, queen a4. Yeah, I could anchor the bishop in on d3. That would be okay right now. Um, I could also play... Don't think I want to take d4 because the rook's coming to d1 pretty quickly. Feels like bishop d3 is the move. Maybe bishop g4 also. Yeah, let's go bishop d3. Oh, yeah, I understand you, Wobble Chess. Yeah, that's a little too complicated, though, for... Uh... Just a single game. Let's take this now. All right, so had White gone to D1, I think there would have been more danger with this whole operation. But now that the Rook's on C1, I think I can do this. Ooh, and these bishops are looking dangerous. I almost want to take right away, although I think it's not wise. Let's play Rook E8. This pawn should be a gun or two. I know White can take this one. Oh, congratulations, Avi. Crossed the 2,000 rating barrier. Nice. Yeah, thanks for the suggestion, Wobble Chess. And thank you, Dr. Sweat, for subbing to the Lee Chess channel. Appreciate it. Awesome. Okay, let's take this. And I might swing over here. I'm anticipating queen takes. Um, yeah, let's swing over to f5 to attack f2. The bishop could come back to e3. And then maybe I'll play something like uh, e5 at that point. Just anchor my bishop and open the queen. Ooh, knight d1. Ugh. 
So if I could hop over my pawn here, this would be checkmate. Um, G5, also a vague idea, trying to attack this, uh, trap that bishop. Getting a little low on the clock, so I'm going to do that. Let's see if he misses the bishop defending the pawn backwards. Will dutiful hair see it? I might as well pre-move it. It's a free pre-move. It won't register if uh, white doesn't play it. But yeah, this is one of my ideas. Rook h5, hitting this, hitting this. And now I just got to beat the clock. Takes, um, let's go here. Maybe bishop f2 followed by, <clears throat> um, followed by taking on h2 would have worked. This is definitely winning, but again, I'm behind on the clock, so I need to play faster. My opponent has hair in his username, so that probably means he's pretty quick. We're going to trap in his king. Well, he's running. The hair is running. Promote. Oh, I got him. 1.5 seconds left, though. I was in time trouble, indeed. Thanks for the game, dutiful hair. You made that pretty, uh, pretty close here. Thank you very much for the game. I think we both could have played the middle game better. Like your queen b3 and then queen d1. Queen d1 in particular, I, I don't think is a good move. I was a little worried about c5 at this point. If you advance there. c5, bishop e6. Ooh, that's a tricky move. Don't actually take or remove the attack knight. Just come back and attack the queen. That would have been hard to see. I probably would not have played that. Take, take. This looks like a more findable version for me. But even still, I think that might have been a better way. Ooh, queen d1 is the top move, though. I never would have guessed that. Oh, queen a3 also. <laughs> okay, the engine doesn't actually say that, that black's doing all that poorly, so I guess it's all right. Yeah, I didn't really like rook fc1. I feel like you should bring the rook to the d1 square. I think the engine agrees. Um, trying to line up on the D file. Yeah, you, you put up a good fight from here, though. I mean, this, this position is losing for white. It's not at all easy to play, but with uh, mutual time pressure approaching, you played this, you know, pretty, pretty well. Thanks for the game.